Okay guys, Jay Prod Performance again. Uh, continuing on with this C4 series. So we showed you that uh, number 9 bearing kit that goes in the back of the case in the last video, I believe. And let's kind of go next in line of what I do. So this here, this is your low reverse drum. And this has just been modified to have a bearing here instead of the thrust washer that used to go there. So real simple, there's just a pocket cut and that bearing sits there. And then you're just gonna put the hub back in, hub and ring gear back in uh, with your snap ring, just like normal. Okay. Now, I do wanna say this. Um, this is how I do this. Now, this, this is important locations. This is your reverse planetary. So there's a bearing on this side, and I also put a bearing on this side. And what I want to tell you is, this is that rear hub without the ring gear on it. And I want you to notice, this is cast and it's very thin here and you know it holds up just fine but I see a lot of guys they cut the bearing pocket in this rather than cut in the planetary and yeah it's easier to machine this doing it in these planetaries is kind of a pain because you've got you've got these three heat treated pins in here and it just it really rips up expensive inserts you know, inserts are like, man, depending on what they are, you know, the inserts are like $10 a piece, and these hardened pins and intermittent cut, it just, man, you go through those inserts like crazy. And, you know, so I get it. Um, you try not to cut on this planetary any more than you have to, but you want to save the integrity of this drum. So I don't recommend cutting this personally so I, I like to do it this way we used to sell a lot of these I don't always have them anymore but uh, they're getting hard to find like everything else so anyway so reverse planet with the two barons on it and that's real simple and that's just gonna go in here and how to do it one hand switch positions and it's going to be stubborn. I really need to hold that middle. There we go. And that just drops in. And that's it. And, you know, the height should be close enough and all that. So you don't have to worry about it. And that's real simple there. So you're just doing bearings in those three positions. And um, that's it. Uh, we'll continue on here. But mainly wanted to say don't cut that hub if you're cutting it. And... Uh, that's all. Real simple one on this one. So, okay. Thanks for watching.